Okay, I am going to talk about uh, these top 15 areas here is the first one. So the starting one uh, would be regarding uh, the one that's uh, first in the syllabus. So we'll talk about uh, uh, capabil uh, capability maturity model integration, process pattern and process assessment and software engineering a layered approach. So this is uh, unit to a generic view of process. Now, uh, in, in before uh, we move ahead, I'm just reiterating what I said in the last time that uh, CMM or capacity maturity model is something uh, uh, which talks about how well a software, uh, uh, software engineering best practices are included. Phi is the best and it's generally 3, 4, 5. So you get like uh, uh, CMM level 3 company, CMM level 4 company and the best would be CMM level 5 and so on. So you can get a stat like most of the companies are three or four. Now, uh, software engineering, a uh, layered approach. You have process framework for software process, a character of software process, process improvement, software development life cycle, process development, capability, maturity model. So here the question that you can get uh, in, in your interview or in any exam is uh, in a process, uh, talk about either cap capability, maturity model, or software development life cycle. <coughs> Software engineering approach around concept of process. Process means a particular method of doing something. So how can you do that? So software uh, process, project, project. Uh, so uh, there are a number of ways uh, in which you can do that. So uh, uh, the software process is a set of activities and associated result that produce software product. Software engineering mostly carry out these uh, activities. There are four fundamental process activities, software specification, other management. Now, uh, a software process model is a workflow model or a data flow model or a reallocation model. Uh, now, we have some important uh, uh, techniques here uh, or paradigms of software development. The waterfall model, the evolutionary model, the formal transformation and system assembly from reusable component. Uh, the formal transformation is based on producing a formal mathematical specification transforming the specific reusable mathematical method to program. So the name suggests this is a formal. So this is we are talking about. So many times we talk about and we get lost somewhere. So whenever you get explain about waterfall model, then they are part of evolutionary model, uh, evolution model. And characteristic of a software model is predictability, software life cycle, uh, how a software would look like. So process step specification, uh, steps in the development process phase, uh, capability maturity model. And like one, two, three, four, five, optimizing continuous process improvement, engineering process, project management, different improvement key process areas. So we have level, we have focus, we have key process areas. So first is uh, initial. So project management, heroes, uh, engineering process, product, and continuous process improvement. So in in one you can have repeatable. In two, um, one and two. In three you have defined product engineering training program, organization process defined. Quality management percent five year everything is optimized. So that is about the CMM. So here uh, uh, the incremental model and the waterfall model. I'm coming back there and the CMM. Yeah. So uh, the number of uh, different general models or paradigm for software uh, development is waterfall model. This take above represent a separate waterfall phase requirement specification. So on after each this sign off is required. Pollution this approach interleaves the activity specification and the initial system is rapidly and very abstract. This is refined with customer input produce. So this is evolutionary, then formal transformation is only for reusable components. So these are the process. Now questions that you can get uh, uh, here is uh, something on uh, uh, cap capability, this uh, maturity model. So capability maturity model. Let me see if I have a diagram for you here on that. So UML diagram, spiral model, planning analysis, testing, uh, no. agile, system engineering. I don't have a capability maturity model, but uh, it's about uh, finding out. So let's look at the diagram that we have here. So the capability maturity model, this diagram would be important. So initial, repeatable, defined, managed, optimized, continuous process development, engineering process, project management, hero, software project planning. Organization process, process measurement, defect prevention, technology innovation, process measurement, quality and quality is an important point here and so on. So that was uh, about the second unit which is generic view of process.